In this video I'll explain how to create a sequence of alphabetical letters using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. So in this video I will show you several examples on how to create different sequences of alphabetical letters. And in the first example I want to show you a very useful thing when using the R programming language. And this is that the R programming language already provides a letters object which is simply called letters. So if you run line two of the code, you can see that in the letters object, the alphabetical sequence from A to C is already included. You can see that the letters object contains lowercase letters. So if we want to return uppercase letters, we can use the letters object written in uppercases, as you can see in line four of the code. So if you run this line of code, you can see that uh, alphabetical sequence from A to C is created in uppercase letters. We can also create a subset of this sequence as you can see in line 6 of the code. So in this line of code I'm subsetting the letters object and I'm extracting only the third to the eighth position of this letters object. So if you run line 6 of the code you can see at the top right that a new data object is appearing which is called myseq1. And we can print this data object to the RStudio console by running line 7 of the code. And then you can see at the bottom that we have subsetted the lowercase letters object from C to H. We can also sample random letters from the letters object as you can see in the next example starting in line 9 of the code. So in line 9 I'm first setting a random seed for reproducibility. And then in line 10 of the code, I'm applying the sample function to the letters object and I'm specifying that I want to sample 10 elements of this letters object. Note that in this case we are sampling without replacement. And then we are storing the output of this in a new data object which is called myseq2. So if you run line 10 of the code, you can see at the top right that we have created another data object which is called myseq2. And we can print this data object to the RStudio console by running line 11 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a random sequence of letters. So in this tutorial I have explained how to create a sequence of letters using the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can check it out there. And furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments. And make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.